Good morning, everyone. I am Arya Srivastava, studying in Standard 9th Modern School, India. Today, I am going to discuss about the traditional medicinal plants used to boost immunity in Uganda. Uganda is a landlocked country in East Africa. Its abundant wildlife, snow-capped Brenzori Mountains, and immense Lake Victoria proves the beauty of nature that encompasses Uganda. We know traditional medicines have long been used in all the countries to increase immunity of humans. These traditional practices have used properties of herbs, fruits, spices, etc. to prevent and treat many diseases. When the COVID-19 pandemic struck our world, as there was no medicines, no cure available to fight it, people all over the world started search in all different fields. In African traditional medicines, ethnomedicinal herbs are considered for good prevention, treatment and management of influenza and other respiratory diseases. Let me tell you about few of them. Euphorbia hitta has no anti-SARS coronavirus activity but has a good activity on respiratory problems which is a major symptom of coronavirus. Onyeji highlighted in his studies that Euphorbia hitta can alleviate some of the respiratory symptoms associated with COVID-19. Glyceriza glabra, commonly known as lycoris, is a herbaceous perennial herb native to Northwest Asia but is widely cultivated in North and South Africa. The root and rhizomes of lycoris are used in Egypt to treat upper respiratory disease like common cold, bronchitis, and sore throat. Garcinia cola hackle, commonly known as bitter cola, is an evergreen perennial medium-sized flowering tree that is indigenous to Central and Western Africa. It has been observed that Bitter cola has anti-SARF COVID inhibitory potential and is listed as a plant with promising result against coronavirus. A man may esteem himself happy when that which is his food is also his medicine. With this sentence describing the essence of traditional immunity boosters, I end up my presentation. Thank you.